welcome to the third part of uh, image uploading series so in the previous two ones we learned that how we can uh, get the image extension and then we store our image into the project and also store this image to the database right so we uh, move our uh, image into the public directory right so there are other methods we can upload this to a storage directory or we can also uh, store our image online like in amazon s3 bucket and stuff like that so uh, how we can check that uh, uh, what file system we are having in our laravel application so let's go to the config directory and uh, here there is a file system.php file so let's click on it let's uh, first move to the top so by default it's loading this uh, local and uh, local is there so it will load the images from this uh, storage directory or if you define this local in your um, controller so it will uh, store uh, to this path and this is should be app right so it will store in the app directory right this is the local and if you click on this uh, public specify the public uh, and then it will store this inside the app slash public like we did in the previous video right and there is another s3 bucket so this is amazon bucket so you can define your aws key in the env file so let me open the env file so you can define your keys like there and you can define your credentials here and you need to find your all keys and uh, then you are able to define this s3 bucket when you when uh, we did like this right and uh, here you can define your public path uh, image path and then image name and it will this image will be uploaded to the project uh, uh, remember you, uh, your internet connection will be enabled this time because it's going to uh, upload on the server right so we use we are using this uh, in the previous video we uh, use this public path so it store images in the public directory so there are other uh, helpers you can store into the other ways so there is uh, we implemented this public so you can explore other ones right so let's uh, go to the index view and now grab the post right so let me go to the post and in the post we have this uh, index method right so let me check that how many minutes yes it's uh, three minutes so so i want to uh, show an image where i want to store here an image right so let me make this uh, why i'm adding this table header because these are not table headers so it's a td right so let me make this td and this one is also td so here i want to show an image right so in our case the image is a post image right save this one give it a refresh and yes it's showing the image so how we can get this uh, image uh, into a proper display right so you need to define let me go there cut this out uh, let me cut this into a clipboard and here i need to define the image and then in the source i need to define like this it will add this image but we are not adding path right so uh, now it's uh, not showing anything why because it's uh, displaying this image so let me add this into all it's the image so give it a refresh and uh, it's now showing this image right so how we can we need to specify the image path so what is the image path in our case our image path is this public and inside the public we have a post and then the post we have the uh, image right so how we can define this so you need to define this like this is it so this is it says uh, looking from this uh, root directory and then you need to def uh, not root directory it's uh, uh, getting the images from this public directory and then you need to specify your 
uh, directory name so it's a uh, images slash post oops it's uh, posts and then slash and then this image right so save this one give it a refresh and check that images there or not still not there why so let me check oh i need to implement this in the and this one right this is the helper so is it and then i need to also add this here right but this is the variable so how can i implement this so let me uh, cut this out from there and add it like uh, uh, and this here right and uh, then i need to end this like this like uh, this and here i need to also add this so save this one give it refresh and check that and it says that syntax error what and yes let me remove this one so check that and uh, yes now it's displaying the second image the first one is not displaying why because our path is incorrect it's uh, store the temp data that's why this image path is wrong so let's uh, get deleted okay and it's deleted the image and add it again right so choose an image here and uh, let me choose this so uh, girl image it's a video call and uh, yes uh, its image is uh, quite bigger that's why it's uh, showing like this so you, you can define the image width right so you can define let me define this in the styles it's a width width of 50 px so give it a refresh and yes now image is showing like this right so we can also uh, define the image like let me uh, apply some styles here so image uh, border should be rounded right border rounded round radius will be 50 okay save this one so now it will be rounded okay and now it's rounded so we can define this uh, uh, like uh, 80 or something but 50 is okay because this is a uh, four-sided images that's why it's not displaying exactly so it's displaying exactly what we are looking for this 50 right so now we are getting this image so i don't want to specify this is it uh, anymore right i want to uh, uh, get this from the model so i want to get this path from the models and i want to i want to grab only name there right i don't want to uh, get the path to, with all images right so if i want to store uh, show this images um, 20 times so i will uh, i will not going to use this uh, full path from there right so i will uh, add this into the into a one place and i will call this from there right so laravel will provide us uh, accessor way so let's go to the not this one let's go to the post directory so we are getting images from the post right so let me go there and uh, specify a public path using accessors so first i need to define the public directory so I can call this so uh, directory and this directory contain inside the images slash posts right save this one this one is directory and here I need to specify an accessor so how you can uh, specify an accessor so we are already discussed in the previous video so accessor uh, uh you need to define the get and then accessor name so in our case it's a image right so we are getting this image right so specify image so i should be capital because this is a, a syntax of accessor it's a not accessor it's a attributes okay and here you need to uh, grab a value here and then you need to return something return uh, this and what I want to return this directory right directory and uh, with this value 
so I want to append this directory value with this one right save this one and it's mm, throwing the error oh I'm doing this in a wrong way so let me remove this dollar sign and add this arrow sign so then this will uh, it will access this uh, variable and I'm concatting this variable with this value so this value is a name of our image so it's uh, 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 concatting this with this image so we don't need to define the uh, define the path right so get image attribute why it's throwing the error well, oh I forgot to add the function here so let me add this function here and then the attribute name right so then yes this error, error will be uh, will gone so has gone so let me go here give it a refresh so it will work and it's not going to work why so let's and uh, here we have returning an image name from this post okay let's go here and give it a refresh and uh, still our images are not appearing so let's check the path uh, for images from inspect element right so it is the uh, image so let me insert the image okay so our path is images slash post oh i forgot to add this slash here right not this one i need to go to the post model where i define the path yes this one so i need to add this slash here right and then it will work like a charm go to this one and yes now it's working so it means that our images are successfully working so let's give it a refresh it will also work there right great it's working so it means that we need uh, we successfully uh, added this directory path here and uh, from this uh, accessor we get this image and we concat uh, with this uh, directory and then here we don't need to specify any path if we are getting uh, we are displaying this image 20 times we don't need to mention any path so it will get this uh, global path great so that is the magic of this uh, accessor so hopefully you learn a lot from this tutorial so i will meet you in the next one so you are doing great and hope you will get a very good job so thank you so much for watching bye bye